huge surprise on this week's primaries after a first-time candidate and member of the Democratic Socialists of America defeated one of the top Democrats in the House of Representatives. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, to say with an accent, who used grassroots organizing snatch New York's 14th Congressional District from Joe Crowley. Crowley had been there for 10 terms. As in the largest on healthcare ever. Around 600 medical professionals busted for submitting unnecessary insurance claims and doing other shady things. The total amount, two billion in false bills. And guys, this isn't only about the money. The attorney general says some of these people actually helped fuel the opioid epidemic crisis that kills more than 100 Americans a day. Justice Anthony Kennedy says, peace out. And now President Donald Trump will get to nominate his second Supreme Court justice in just a year and a half. Justice Kennedy has often been the one to break the tie between four conservative and four liberal judges. Now Trump will most likely nominate a conservative, shifting the court to the right. And don't forget, Supremes can serve full life. This was like... Absolutely horrible what happened at a Capitol Gazette newsroom in Annapolis. If you watch my videos, you know I don't like saying the attacker's name, so guy it is. This 30-year-old guy had a grudge against the paper over a 2011 column that reported his guilty plea to criminal harassment. So what does he do? He opened fire in the newsroom, killing five people, four veteran editors and reporters, and an ad assistant. President Trump's travel ban targeting several Muslim-majority countries has been upheld by the Supreme Court. Upheld, confirmed, support, maintained. They said, hey, that's within Mr. P's authority. So the travel ban on Iran, Libya, Syria, Yemen, and Somalia, and sort of Venezuela and North Korea is now probably getting a makeover for the third time. <laughs> 